Hey, fellow YouTubers, this is a little follow-up, shouldn't be too long a video, but we'll see. A um, little follow-up video just to show you how I'm doing with the TV connected to my PC. Just been listening to this. Ho 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 ho, yeah. We're doing something a little bit different uh, for this video. I've got my phone on a tripod for once. First time ever for this channel. Phone on the tripod, recording the screen. I found that recording the CRT with my phone gave me better results than recording it with my DSLR. Don't know why, but it is what it is. Um, and also, I don't have recording limits, so yay! I'm going to switch between that and doing a little bit of screen recording so you can see what I'm doing on screen. First big change, no longer using a modded driver. I think that modded driver is more for like if you're using like really weird resolutions and refresh rates, like, you know, you're doing like 300 by 200 at 76 hertz, something like that, I don't know. I, I think that's what it's for. Might be completely wrong. I don't think I really properly understood what the driver is for, but it turns out I don't think I really need it because I mean, you can see it is working pretty well. I did have to make a custom resolution, which is the one I'm running here. And uh, you can see I have it uh, enabled here. And you'll probably also notice that everything fits on the screen a hell of a lot better than it did before. And I did find, if I enabled uh, GPU scaling, which I'll do now, that, that that did make everything, like, fit on. Pretty much, like, you see it's pretty much exactly the same as it is with, like, the custom resolution that I set up. Only issue with this is that it's locked to 60 hertz and active signal mode. No idea. No idea what that means. That's at 1600 by 1200. So I have no idea what's going on there. And um, yeah, just gonna disable that. What I do find though, is that all this like custom color control and stuff doesn't work unless I first enable GPU scaling and then disable it again. And then I can, you know, change these parameters. These are the settings that I've got right now. I do find I'm constantly tweaking them, trying to find what works best. There's a lot of trial and error here. So yeah, the custom resolution I set up, this is really what's made this work well for me. For example, if, if I set this to, let's set it to like this default one here, 800 by 600 at 60 hertz. You see, like, enough, it just doesn't fit on the screen right. And it, it's so frustrating. And this isn't a high-end monitor. It's not a high-end TV. There aren't options on the TV to adjust this. You kind of had to, like, fiddle around and mess around with all, all the monitor, all, all the custom resolution settings in AMD. Even then, it's still not perfect. you yeah, still got, like, uh, you know, things being cropped off at the bottom here. Like, I don't know if you could kind of curve the the like signal it's receiving to kind of make it fit on the screen better. I don't know if that's a thing I can do. Would be nice if I could, but as of right now, like this is the seem like the top, like kind of I lose the mouse a little bit there at the top. So it's it's not perfect. And to be completely honest, I don't really fully understand what all these settings do. I I know resolution. Easy. Refresh rate. Easy. Presentation. Progressive. Of course, I want progressive. Um, G pixel clock. G refresh rate. I don't know. Um, I think G pixel clock kind of just set itself and refresh rate. I was like, oh, okay, have it at 50. That's what I want the refresh rate to be, so I'll set it to 50. Uh, timing display. It kind of gives you a little description here of what it does, but even though that doesn't make much sense. The number of horizontal ver vertical pixels within the active area. Okay, I guess that one does make sense. Um, but yeah, I was just like, why, why would I not have that at 720 by 576? I don't know. I'm sure there are scenarios where, where you would want that, but this isn't one of them. At timing total, total number of horizontal vertical pixels for each sync. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that does, but I needed it set to this for it to be able to fit. If I were to, oh no, let's set it to 800 and see what, see what happens. This is base community, you want to replace it, yeah, 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 oh, I can't do that. Okay, what about uh, 850? Can I, can I do that? Oh, okay. what, if, what if I set it to, to 1280? Can I do that? I just want to see what it does. 
yeah, does that. It, uh, it, it kind of squishes it. It really squishes everything down. Which is good. Because I needed to squish it. Because it was too wide. So, that, that was handy. Being able to give it a good old squish. Yeah. And I'm guessing here this is it does the same vertically. Let's let's the 1280 because that that is the number. That is the number. Ooh. <laughs> these two oh, I don't even remember what the what 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 these do. The number of horizontal vertical pixels between the end of the active area and the next sink. Distance between the right bottom portions of the display to the right bottom most portion of the actual. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Three. See, this is just what I do. You just go and let's just push it a lot to the right. So this is just, just just push things. We'll set it to like two hundred. Yeah, and it pushes it that way. So I mean, like, I, I could like I could try bullshit here and just be like, I did loads of research, did all the reading, and you know, I understand everything. I have no fucking idea. I I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But hey, I mean, it it it, it kind of works. Apart from like the occasional flickering, like, you know, I'm I'm happy with it. I mean, what does this do? So, I don't know. I don't know what the difference between that one and the one above it is. Um, to me, that's doing the same thing. But you know what we're going to have to do? What we're going to have to do now? Because we got the CRT on, and I happen to have my controller here. Ho, ho, ho. It's not, you know... It's not, you know... Very retro, but... It's a nice controller. And I managed to fix the issue with the uh, analog stick since the last video, which, um... Yeah, that was an issue when I was trying to play Spyro. Oh, I like this game a lot. I like this game a lot. <laughs> I don't even know if I have analog mode enabled. I hope so. Not that you really need it for this game. Look at that penguin! <laughs> Ooh, so cool! I love this game so much! I need to shut up! About how much I love this game, but I do. It just it gives me the happies. It gives me the nostalgias. So even like I'm looking at this, I'm kind of like thinking, do I want to adjust it a bit? Is the, is, are there some bits a little bit overexposed? I don't know. Oh god, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh yeah, he sucks too. Yeah, it's not just me who sucks. You suck too. Okay, we get a little bit of a spin on it. Oh, I got a penguin. Oh, double ball, double ball. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 I can use the analog stick. Okay, that's that's nice, that's nice. That's so much better than trying to play this with the D-pad. This is not a D-pad game. Because you just kind of want a little bit more, I guess. Control. Oh, no, like, if it detects sensitivity. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. I don't know. I just find it easier using the uh, the analog stick. I guess I was, I was trying to justify it with science, but there is there is no. So oh, how do I use that? Oh, there we go. There's I got a seal. Yes, hit the penguin. Ah, oh. come on, come on, hit the penguin. I love my seal. He he is my guardian angel. Look at that. Oh, he's going. But what? this another seal oh this guy sucks he doesn't know what he's doing oh no he's angry he's getting frustrated oh he's just he, he can't you're going against a master a master of pong oh my seal's gone Ooh, 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 ooh. Give me a seal, give me the seal, give me the seal. <gasps> oh, ho, 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 Bandolo. Oh, 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 Yes. Oh, I'm destroying this. There we go. Match point, that's it. I am the victor. 
Oh, yeah, doesn't doesn't it just look so nice on on the CRT? I'm hoping on the on the camera it shows up like half as well as it does to the naked eye. Cause it just it's just beautiful. It really is. It's gorgeous. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's just you can't be it. Yeah, it's just a cheap CRT, and one day I would like to you know upgrade to a better one. But there's, there's so few. There's so few around me. Like whenever I look on the marketplace, I go look on eBay. Or the ones near me, they're kind of like you know the same sort of unit that I've got here. And the asking prices can sometimes be really stupid for you know an old TV. Yeah, I mean at the end of the day, it's an old TV. There's nothing cutting edge about this, and outside of like you know a few enthusiasts, like most most people don't want them. They're so big and bulky and. I don't know. It's just a shame that people kind of charge crazy amounts for, for them. It makes it very hard to get into the, or it can make it very hard to get into the hobby, especially if like, I mean, it took me so long to get this uh, TV. Like, I found it a car boot for a fiver, which I was, oh, I was over the moon. I was over the moon with it that I found it because everyone's just asking for stupid amounts of money. I mean, like fiver. And yeah, that's what this is worth, you know? I would say it's like, yeah, Fiverr for like an old TV. I mean, it's a crappy TV, you know, at the time. Like, it, it would have just been a cheap unit. But, you know, hey, you know, I've got it. It looks great. I'm really happy with it. One day, I will upgrade once, you know, one a really nice screen comes up at the right price. But until then, I'm going to enjoy my cheap Bush TV, my nostalgic Bush TV with a built-in video player, which I'll probably never use. I've got a beautiful video player downstairs. I might even do a video on that at some point. Um, got HDMI out, got a hard drive, DVD player. It's, it's incredible, and it looks incredible. In it's incredible. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling. Sorry. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want. If, if you don't, that's fine. Um, yeah, all the best. Cheers.